Play ball! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm David. And I'm Leah, and this is Wine Forecaster. We, we couldn't resist. <laughs> we saw this bottle on the shelf. It's got the New York Yankees crest on it. Why not grab it? It's, it's going to be autumn in another, you know, another week or two. Well, it's going to feel like autumn at least. It's starting to feel like that a little bit outside right now. And that means baseball playoffs are coming up. And uh, so this is Anthony Rhodes uh, 2013 Reserve Riesling with the New York Yankees crest on it. I'm not really sure how to say that. It's Anthony Rhodes New York Yankees Dry Riesling, or, but it's a trademark on there and it's, yeah, it's it's an eye catcher, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that really brings up a great marketing point mm -hmm. um, is is to uh, have something really interesting on that label. And that I'm obviously sure it sells a lot that, of wine. that really got you yeah. interested. So we great. thought we'd try this for you so we, we could tell you if it's really worth having a Yankees symbol <laughs> on there or not because they are world champions many times over. So the Yankees have, uh, they put their labels on several different wine makers. Um, Bottles. Bottles. Yeah. All over the country. So it's kind of neat that they decided to partner up with Anthony Rhodes to do the uh, Finger Lakes Dry Riesling. So, uh, is this the only New York State one? As far as I saw. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, very special bottle. Yeah. Then. Very neat. Especially if you're a New York Yankees fan. Now, if you're not, you're probably like, you know. <laughs> but you know what? Actually, if you go on to. Um, if you, if you do a search on this, you'll see that there are a lot of the uh, Major League Baseball teams have paired up with uh, winemakers throughout the uh, throughout the st throughout the uh, United States. And so I mean, like there was Mets, and uh, I saw a couple of you know. Go through and look it up. Yeah. Or, oh, we're not big baseball fans, but I guess back in the '70s when I was growing up, I was, I was a Yankees fan. So when you're once a Yankees fan, you're always a Yankees always fan. Always a Yankees fan, yeah. So all right, anyhow. Let's give this a check here. Color-wise. Light yellow, mm -hmm. uh, what you would expect in a dry Riesling. Mm -hmm. Nice uh, crisp citrus lemon. Grassy. Yeah. Um, you get some of that limestone. It's a limestone slate. You got a little bit of a floral component, like a white floral component. Component to it. Really nice. This is this is this is a real nice, real nice bouquet. Wow, that's great. Really lives up to the um, label of being a dry mm -hmm. riesling, mm -hmm. um, but not to the point where you're like puckering or anything like that. Not at all. It's really quite refreshing, yeah. crisp. Uh, very fruit forwards. I definitely get that on um, like Granny Smith and and lemon. How about you? Get the lemon on it as well. Um, there now the second the second sip. I get a little more of that, of like a tart apple. Mm -hmm. um, but that's real nice. Very mm -hmm. nice reason. Now, what did you? Uh, what am I looking at here? This is. Unbelievable. You definitely want to pair it with um, something that has a savory flavor to it. Um, oftentimes chicken or, or pork go well. Um, mm -hmm. In this case, I used a pork tenderloin and I have a jerk seasoning on there so it's a little bit more spicy. Can you put that on the grill? Yes. Yeah, we grilled it and then we have fresh tomatoes and uh, homegrown green beans and new potatoes. Mm. Should we give this a uh, try with this pork? So maybe you're watching us during dinner right now, and uh, I certainly hope that what you're eating is going to live up to what we're eating. Wouldn't want to wish anything <laughs> less than that on you. Now, as I'm, I'm tasting this, I wish I had had a little bit more of the seasoning on there. But just having the wine in my mouth makes me think of fall because it's coming um, very quickly. We're at the end of August. And it would be just great to have slow cooked apples with this mm -hmm. or applesauce. Oh my gosh, that would just, you know, put it to the next level. All right, so next week that's what we'll do. We'll do the same one. We'll just add some applesauce. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that you're, you know, you're doing the same thing at home and trying to pair your wines with with different foods. And, and if you're not very good at that, um, well, you know what? We we can do a video on that uh, this autumn. 
and we'll help you try to pair different wines with different foods. And you know, it can be as simple or as complex as you want it to make it. Well, we haven't rated a wine in a long time, but no, I, think, I think I'm gonna rate this one at, at 90 points. I think it's uh, a really delightful uh, dry reasoning. Um, you know, I think it's uh, a good choice. I'm not sure how the business arrangement worked, but if the New York Yankees picked out uh, Anthony Rowe, I think they made it a wise decision. Mm -hmm. So, all right, now we have to say it again, don't we? Anthony Rowe, well, New York Yankees presents Anthony Rowe Wine Company's 2013 uh, Dry Riesling Reserve. But we're gonna get back to dinner, so thanks for joining us. I'm David. And I'm Leah, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.